What's up, my Iron Man fans? Um, I'm here doing a review on the Iron Man 2 movie series War Machine. And here I have him standing a little bit behind Iron Man in the little Iron Man and War Machine pose. Since they're the best of all allies. Um, um, here's the packaging on my iPod since I don't have it. Um, the Iron Man 2 series logo. And the figure in the box is the, launch, the launcher, the Gatling gun, and the projectiles down there. Behind his hand, um, the uh, the armor cards, and down here it says two launching missiles, or launching missiles. I mean, I always say that. Um, uh, three armor cards and figure stand included. So here's the front of the packaging. Um, it's not really just just the normal Iron Man 2 series packaging. Um, the uh, War Machine. Uh, though I keep I keep messing up today. Um, the back of the packaging. Um, so here he is. I noticed that. Um, this, uh, war machine, uh, the back of the packaging is, is a lot better looking than the one that is in it. So, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get why they make it so different. And this on the packaging is, like, museum ready. So, um, here's the other fig figures in the, um, line, the series line. So, <clears throat> Mark three with the heavy armor on and the mark the mark five and the in inferno mission armor which i do have and i also have mark five and mark three so um uh so here's the bio i don't think you can really read it too well from on my phone but i saw so i read it to you the suit is modified by military technicians for Tony Stark's best friend James Road. What it lacks is in the advanced weaponry of the Mark IV. It more than makes up for the overwhelming payload courtesy of the Air Force. So there's the packaging and once again, here he is standing with the Iron Man, the reactor ship Iron Man figure that I also that I have two of. Now, um, so bye, Rody. Um, so here's the figure out of the packaging without the Gatling gun. Um, I don't have the uh, well, I mean, with the Gatling gun. Um, I don't have the launcher and projectile or the uh, armor cards or the um, stand for the figure. Um, so sculpt is awesome. It, it's it's it has as much sculpt as as the six inch guys. Um, so I, I think that's really awesome that it has that much uh, that much that the sculpt is that good and and. I just like it. The paint is awesome as well. Haven't found any smudges or anything on there except for this one right there. And a little right there. So there's really not much. Um you gotta really watch out for this for the, the um numbering and lettering on the side of this of this figure because already it starts to scratch off. So I don't Yeah. Um but um so this is awesome. The sculpt on this is awesome. Even even on the jets in the back is are awesome. Um, the gun is not the is, is not the right sculpt. It's supposed to have uh, um supposed to do this. It's supposed to have one part about this long, and then it's supposed to be able to do this. Like go there's a little bar that attaches to this part, and then it turns and it goes around and it goes like that. So it's supposed to be. And does all that, but it's not just it's not just 
up and down on one side stays on one side it's it's supposed to be all the way around but it's really it's a really good sculpt for a toy and I'm really surprised that this I was really surprised when I first got my first war machine I was really surprised that it had this much sculpt um it had this good of a sculpt um so um and also the the gun the um Gatling gun sculpt is awesome as well and then the ammo pack is, is awesome as well like this whole sculpt period thing is awesome so like I said like and like I keep saying the sculpt is awesome um paint apps uh paint apps are uh they're really they're they're um really not bad they're better than most Iron Man um than most other figures so like I haven't found any smudges or anything except for right here like I said before except for right here or right there so really nothing um um articulation is the normal Iron Man 2 articulation so his head goes all the way around for, and I noticed that for some reason his uh, head is slanted more this way more this way a little bit like I'll show you it's it stays like that and I try to turn it this way it, it's just kind of stiff it doesn't go the other way um it goes off it goes to this far it turns this far and turns just about that far um goes up and down nothing you have to really maneuver this head joint it's really tight so I have I'll just like Cut that out, cut parts of this out so it'll be a little bit looser. Um, uh, so his arms go all the way in and out pretty well, all the way around. Um, his elbow articulation is just in and out just enough for the arm to look correct and how it's supposed to move. Um, it goes all the way around. He has um, wrist wrist uh, articulation so it just goes that much oops sorry guys goes just goes just that much that much and then that much so and his he has the repulsor hand for at the end of the battle with whiplash he uh did the sidekick, and that's what the move is called, the sidekick, um, but, so, uh, torso articulation, just normal up and down, and all the way around, <gasps> oh, snap, okay, I'm good, um, the Iron Man 2 joints that I, everybody knows I don't like, double joint knee, um, and ankle pivot, and spin, um, the gun art, the uh, gun artic, the the uh, the ammo is rubber, so it makes the artic, it doesn't hinder with the articulation too much, but it does if you try to if you want to do a whole bunch of extra stuff. Um, um, it's just all the way, it just just turns all the way around, and goes up and down like that. Oops, I keep doing that. So, it's up and down like that. Um. If I didn't say it in my last video, I will be doing my reviews on this uh, helicarrier and on the um, original base that I started my first review with. So, here is the review on Iron Man 2 Movie Series War Machine. There he is in his cool pose. And I'll stand him up next to Iron Man. Hold on guys, sorry.
So, there he is next to Iron Man, and they're both in their little poses and everything. So, um, so, normal comment, subscribe, and whatever. And I'll see you Iron Man fans later.